Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Stephen Hawking's 419 Scams. Before I even start, I'd like to thank one of our viewers for giving me the idea to cover this story. I would give him credit, but I haven't gotten the permission to share his name. You know who you are, though. In any case, this particular viewer pointed out a blog post at Malwarebytes, where one of the authors there has shared a story about a 419 email scam that's targeting people that have been paying attention to Stephen Hawking's death. Now, first of all, Stephen Hawking is one of my heroes. I mean, one of the best scientific minds from our generation. You probably know he unfortunately passed away, which is very sad. Now, unfortunately, according to this Malware Bytes blog post, some scammers are leveraging his death to try to get victims to give them money. Now, you may or may not have heard of 419 scams. They're also sometimes called Nigerian scams. And these are email messages that typically come from some fake uh, king or diplomat from another country that's claiming that they are having some sort of problem, whatever it may be, and that they're trying to get a large sum of money out of their country. And if you help them, you can have a large sum of money. Obviously, this is all just utter crap. You're not going to get any money. The goal of these scams is to get you to interact with that email, at which case the scammer or the con artist is going to try to get some information from you. They'll either try to steal some of your information, which they can use for later attacks, or they might say something like they need some sort of small upfront fee in order to do a wire transfer. In any case, that's generally what a 419 or Nigerian scam is. And really that I'm a prince needing to send large sums of money is just one example of the many different types of cons they can use. In any case, this particular malware bytes author has pointed out one that's leveraging Stephen Hawking's death. Basically, you get an email just memorializing Stephen Hawking, talking about his death and what a great man he was and how he wrote the brief history of time. But it also claims that you can win $8 million if you just answer three basic questions about Stephen Hawking, who his wife is, and a couple other questions. Obviously, you'd have to be crazy to think you can win $8 million from answering three questions. But really, if you pay attention to this whole email, it really is another class of 419 scam. In this case, the particular author actually pretended to answer the questions and even answered a few of them wrong to see if the scammer would get back to him. And of course, the scammer did. And when the scammer got back to him, he started asking for more information about this person, including things like uh, their shirt size and their their width, which is kind of unusual. But anyways, avoid this email for sure. This is a bad email. You don't want to give any information to these type of 419 scammers. Now, the bigger story here, the bigger moral of the story is that bad guys are very good at leveraging pop culture to try to socially engineer you. You know, they always use pop culture to some extent, whether it be big holidays or big movies or something big happening in the news. A lot of emails and social engineering use that type of information in the subject to try to get you to interact with their email or whatever they're trying to do to you. What I find really horrible, though, is how bad guys also prey on horrible disasters. If there's ever a flood or a hurricane or a tsunami or earthquake, Often they pretend that they're looking for donations, but they're really trying to scam you as well. To me, this is just kind of the basest form of this sort of criminal activity. And frankly, this type of Stephen Hawking email, leveraging this great man's death for this sort of scam, it's just sickening to me. It's horrible. Now, the good news is the practical takeaway is, you know, don't reply to these emails at all. More importantly, though, over time, when you get things like emails or social media posts that talk about things like uh, pop culture events or big tragedies, make sure to keep on your skeptical hat. Pay attention to links. Don't give out personal information and try to validate organizations before you donate money to anybody. Anyways, just wanted to point out this interesting blog post from Mal bites. And again, to the viewer out there that submitted this idea, thanks again. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.